Hello, what's going on people? B5 here. This video is about disrespect. And um, first of all, I want to start this off. I got a couple games here that I feel have been disrespected. And so I just want to share, share with you guys as we look back on these games and we think about these games, how they actually are being disrespected to this day. Okay, and let's, let's start with this game right here, NBA 2K10. Obviously, has Kobe on the front. It's the 10th year anniversary. Um, you know, 2K has been around for 10 years, now 11. Um, you know, and they, and I feel like they, they tried to honor Kobe, but yet at the same time, slap him in the face. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, well, they tried to honor him with the 10th year anniversary, which is all good. You know, visual concept, I applaud the fact that you, you put this man you know you, you decided to use this man for the 10th anniversary but you had no gameplay whatsoever to back up what this man has accomplished everything that he stands for now i'm a suns fan okay i'm a phoenix suns fan and i and i love the phoenix suns however what i don't like is the fact that um you know you took this man that that's magical on the court this dude is magical whether you agree or not he makes things happy happen excuse me okay now a lot of you say you know lebron james whatever the case may be but let's put like this lebron james had to team up with Dwayne uh Dwayne wade and chris bosh that's all i got to say that's all i got to say so my point is this when you look back on this game, now that 2K11 is out, you know, you're, you're not even gonna really even, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter because the gameplay just tarnishes the legacy. Moving on, MLB the show. Now, let me, let me, let me say a couple things real quick. First of all, when it comes to basketball and football, those take presence over baseball, soccer, hockey, uh, MMA, whatever the case may be, all these alternative sports, cricket, badminton, whatever the case, if they have it, um, you know, it takes precedence. But I personally love watching football, then basketball, and then like in a distant far third would be baseball. Distant far third. However, I have the ability to appreciate all sports equally. See, that's what's weird is because I can appreciate all the sports equally. However, my interest level for them in real life is not the same. Only virtually will I have an interest that is that is all completely um, matched. OK, when it comes to these video games, I treat this game as serious as I would treat an NBA or as, a, as I would treat a football game. OK, now. Here's where the disrespect comes in. Because I know a lot of you guys, your primary sports are basketball and football, just like me, okay? So you probably haven't even really spent any time with the game or even played the game or you just you, know, you saw your boy or whatever doing it. But however, but however, you can say and even make a video that says it shits, 2K11 shits. That's the title, that's the title of the, of the video that I saw today. Shits on MLB. Shits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I saw another video too where, you know, somebody was talking about you can't swing the bat where you want to. And I agree with that. I do agree with that. You know, not every game is going to be perfect. And I, and I think that, yeah, if you should have total control if you're a simulation. You definitely should have total control. But then I will also say on that, re on that note too that NBA 2K11, if it's going to claim total simulation, everyone's going to put it as the ultimate in simulation video games, then how in the world that you, the user, cannot bounce past the ball whenever you would like to bounce past the ball? The computer tells you when they're going to bounce past the ball. Yeah. Yeah. See, and where the disrespect comes in is, is the fact that this game, MLB 10 The Show, has brought it every year. Every year. They consistently bring you a hot simulation sports game. I'm telling you, 
every year they bring it every year they don't bring it now pat on the back pat on the back I mean yeah pat on the back that you know 2k11 probably got it right this year <clears throat> pat on the back but damn out of 11 years but damn out of 11 years that's the ratio so anyway it's disrespect man disrespect to MLB to 10 MLB 10 to show <clears throat> so you know I mean I can I can appreciate the fact that people like basketball and football more but I mean you know what man damn it know what you're talking about don't use words like when you got developers developers people that allow you to email them inside the game inside this game you can email the developers they fix bugs weekly they update rosters weekly they play with the people man don't tell me I'm, I'm telling you don't I mean that's disrespectful it's just disrespectful let's keep it going um Castlevania it's not has nothing to do with disrespect now it becomes a little little bit of a showcase you know I had to pick it up people I had to pick it up I'm switching gears I just had to talk to y'all a little bit about disrespect but yeah I had to go ahead and pick it up I, I got it for the PS tray you know uh, there's no online so that really wasn't a factor um, I kind of like for single player games I like uh, I like going with the PS3 so uh, yeah I had to do it Castlevania Lords of the Shadow man can't wait to crack it open yep <laughs> you know I was gonna get it you know I was gonna get it so don't qu quit whining and y y you knew I was gonna get it I mean I'm not gonna miss out on the one year the one year that they supposedly got it right now I don't know yet I played only played the demo I only played it and I decided to get it for Xbox because you know the, the online community is a lot stronger on you know with the Xbox but you know I mean that's my man's and then you know 2k11 you know we do it like that but the point that I'm trying to make here is are we going to forget the past 10 games now don't get me wrong there was some good there was some gems in there you know like like the Chris Paul one and the 2k7 you know th there was some gems in there but they still had major issues that get you upset you know what I'm saying so anyway you know everyone's clear now I haven't played it so you know this is all hearsay it's all hype and it's all cheerleading it's all that stuff going on right now so I'm gonna crack this open right now I'm gonna see what number 23 has in store for me you know look at your boy Odom you know they got him on there he's finally on the cover somewhere you know got a little thumbnail but you know <clears throat> I can't wait to crack it open see what my Phoenix Suns are doing Omari Stoudemire list you know shout out to the Knicks y'all ain't gonna do nothing with him anyway but uh <laughs> just a little shot but anyway way be five just wanted to, you know just wanted to holler at you about disrespect you know put these two side by side you know yeah I appreciate the fact that you know they have back-to-back -back Kobe you know uh Jordan you know what I'm saying because I mean he is the closest thing to Jordan let's be let's be real I mean y'all can say LeBron but you know like I said he's in Miami teamed up with two other superheroes well Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch but either way you know this one's supposedly gonna trump that one I'm out oh oh I got one more thing how will we feel when this number changes and this man isn't on the cover. But we still feel the same way about 2K. Or will we be or will we be getting back to videos like that? Think about it. 